gtm slash live stream. Uh, the agenda for tonight is pretty typical, live stream updates. Oops, sorry, not in front fools yet. Anyway, I guess we can skip there. Um, so today was supposed to be rolling chassis. Sandosh will explain that more later. I'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, we're very close. That's why I say almost. Um, less than 200 days now until WSC. So the first announcement is from Friday. Hopefully everyone already knows about this because it was pretty awesome. But uh, Friday was April 1st, April Fool's Day, and uh, Kathy worked with the Nuon Solar Car team in the Netherlands, who have been uh, one of our biggest rivals, to put a brilliant blog post up um, to say that we are joining forces with Nuon to make a new solar car team called Nuon. And uh, the effects of this post were really awesome, just to see uh, how many people saw it. We had the most traffic to the blog that I think that we've ever had, at least in the last couple of years. Uh, the most likes for a post, and probably the most scandal. We had um, some really hilarious messages from people within the university, people on the team freaking out about how we didn't tell the university that we're joining forces with this team in the Netherlands. Um, the university's writing a press release on us to be uh, put out later this week, and the woman who was in charge of that called Chris and I several times uh, to try to get a hold of us and like, figure out what's going on with this new um, solar, new um, solar car team. Uh, my mom emailed me, she was very scandalized. It was good, so fun stuff. Uh, so Rolling Chassis has been the, the big push. All of Everyone's been working really hard this last week, in particular to hit today's roll date, which it looks like we're not quite gonna hit, but uh, some cool pictures. This is a, a picture of four different wheels that were made in the last four projects. Uh, the one on the left is from 2005, and then we have 2007, 2009, and uh, Quantum's wheel. Here are some micro boards and a little sneak peek of what um, Quantum's mock upper looks like. It's a really tiny sneak peek. You can't really tell from it, but uh, just a teaser there. So the small list of things that we have yet to do that's preventing us to roll today is, first of all, the wheels. We have to get uh, wheel motor housing to uh, roll because you can't roll without wheels, surprisingly enough. Electrical has some debugging to do, and then we have some final aesthetic touches because, like I said, there's a press release going to go out later this week. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, Mechanical is working on uh, getting the car in tip-top shape for that. This picture was taken, I think, around midnight last night, but um, it could have been taken at 5 a.m. I know we got an email from Ryan, who's the um, sitting down in this picture at 5 a.m. or so. So lots of work has been put in this last week uh, to push to rolling chassis. So tonight, Chris had something come up last minute, so I'm going to give the business and ops updates. Uh, for business, like I said, we have this um, press release going out just today. They had a, a meeting with the news service, and we have a whole plan for when press releases are going to go out throughout the summer and throughout the, the build and uh, test cycle until the race. Um, this week, like I said, we had a lot of traffic to the blog, um, anticipating rolling chassis and also from the new one post, so average of 500 to today, which is pretty darn good. Um, this past week, we did have an opportunity to some meet with some pretty cool people. Dr. Rice, that's Condoleezza Rice, the former Secretary of State, was in, um, in town, so there was a, a pretty cool event going around that. Christy Landy, who's the Volt, Volt product manager, um, was here and we got to speak with her and drive the Volt around a little tiny bit, which was very cool. Um, and we've been working with the Office of Advancement a lot more. So we are working on rolling out a new and improved sponsorship package. We're always trying to improve what we're uh, giving our sponsors to engage with them more. And I think we're making some really good changes there. Uh, matter of context, I think this is, um, Chris is making the point that a lot of gaining sponsorships is finding the right people and uh, getting them to see the value in solar car. So, it's really important to find these contacts. So there are a couple of events coming up that are really good networking for finding those kind of contacts. The PACE Awards is a ceremony that presents awards to people in the auto industry who have done uh, innovative things this past year. So that's coming up here in a week or two, and that SAE World Congress dinner is also coming up here uh, pretty soon. So we'll, we have the privilege of attending those thanks to the university. So that's it for live stream updates. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Come back next.